it is a beautiful snowy winter day here in Nova Scotia, perfect for crafting. So today I'm going to be making some cards and assembling my birthday card holder kit I got from Stampin' Up. I thought I'd bring you all along and film the process. So let's start stamping. The first card that I'm going to be making is going to be with this Be My, Fa be My Valentine stamp set and punch. And I'm using a piece of basic black cardstock. I've cut this to measure 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting and embossing machine with the uh, Country Bouquet, I believe it's called, embossing folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I have a piece of basic black. I've already cut this to measure two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I want to cut a piece of designer series paper and I'm using a piece from the Meandering Meadows um, designer series paper pack because I want specifically for this card, the sky. So I'm going to cut this to measure um, two and five eighths by two and five eighths, which is the mark just before the two and three quarters mark right here, an eighth of an inch smaller. I'm gonna make a second card as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And I have another card in mind, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut a couple more basic black bases. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. While I have my squares, I'm going to just glue them all on. some white and I'm going to cut my layers to measure uh, four and a quarter by three so let's just see what that is that's already four and a quarter so I'm gonna cut out four of these because I have four cards on the go I'm going to glue this layer just on the top making sure I have the same amount of white space around the sides and the top. And my idea was sort of like the Polaroid look, which ordinarily wouldn't be as wide down here, but um, that's just the way. I was making these cards when I made my original, as you can see here, so that it gave me lots of room for what I wanted to add on it. So stinking cute. I don't even know if I showed this card to you yet, but this is this is a variation of this card that I'm making. And with my black memento, I'm going to stamp You Make My Heart Buzz. Now it is time to stamp some of these adorable bees. Bringing in my Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna stamp one right here. And one right here. And now the black stripes and the tail. The stinger. I'm gonna line that right up, ink it up really, really well. Now for the little faces. Um, I'm gonna stamp this on like so. And this one. Right here. And I'm going to bring in my petal pink and just add a little bit for some cheeks on each side. I'm going to do the inside of this mouth too. This one would be cute with some eyelashes. Stamp some hearts now, and I'm going to use real red. Time for the wings. It's a little fun trick I'm going to share with you guys. I'm going to 
um, just tap my first mark right onto my vellum just like so and then I'm going to cover it with my clear embossing powder and set it with the heat tool now I have really glossy cool wings that I'm going to be punching out in a second and the wings are going to be made with the heart in the same punch. So I'm going to punch out three. Save this because I can get lots of little hearts and different things out of that. And then what I'm going to do is on the reverse side, the unembossed side, I am going to take um, the outline, this image right here, and just stamp behind it with um i'm going to use pool party so it's just going to give me a nice faint little outline for their wings because this is vellum these are going to need to dry i didn't want to stamp these first and then put the the uh, clear embossing powder on top because it would have made those lines more pronounced which actually would have looked absolutely fine but just the way that I decided to do it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind this wing. Tuck it behind her. And then a second wing. So I am using the glossy embossed side facing out, of course. side to dry and now we need antennas which is right here and the little heart on the punch will cut those out perfectly and use a glue dot to put these on I'm just rolling that glue dot down a little bit because I had it up a little bit too high goes on just like so And stamp and dimensionals to pop these onto the card. I'm to put the hearts on, so I'm going to put mini stamp and dimensionals behind these, and these will add such a nice pop of color to this card. And then these dots, the 2023, 2025 in color dots, the pebbled path um, dots, look how great they look on their little antennas. Oh my goodness, these were made for these bee antennas. And the last thing is I'm just gonna add some clear wink of Stella to the black on these bees. Actually, maybe I'll add some to the hearts as well. The Clear Wink of Stella does pick up the ink, so I'm going to go back and forth just to make sure there's none left on the tip of that. And then look how cute some paper on the inside. And we'll stamp, stamp the Happy Valentine's Day. Let's stamp it a little tilted. Normally I don't do that on purpose and it comes out tilted anyhow, but today I wanted it to come out that way. And we're going to stamp some more hearts on there. Adorable. And I'll show you my original, which is right here. And the original is more vibrant because I used crushed curry on this card versus the Daffodil Delight. And also, my Daffodil Delight ink pad could have used a bit of a re-inker, but still adorable. Both of them, I think, are so, so sweet. 
and yeah I wasn't sure if I can show you the inside yet because this is going to be for my husband husband for Valentine's Day so this is what I stamped on the inside and I um, I actually put vellum on top just to tone down the stamping and then just put a strip of embossed cardstock to hide the adhesive that's holding that vellum down so that is going to be my sweetheart's card and then this one I've got lots of people I love I'm lucky so I will find someone that I love that I will send this to
lot of fun making these cards today. I know I sped up uh, a lot of today's video, but that's because I was making a lot of cards and it was just me having fun in my stamp room and putting the camera on. And hopefully you guys got some ideas. That's always my hope with my videos and that you got some inspiration and that you will uh, have fun using this layout it is just so incredible. And I mean, these six cards are very different all using the same layout. Now I know these are from the same stamp set, but it's still um, still different cards. I just love it and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care and happy stamping.